last time on Lawful Stupid. No menagerie. Are you okay? Uh, just not feeling quite myself. Um, probably just need some sleep or a drink or two. To the proprietor. Yes. Welcome back. The lives of countless men and women are stake. If we're taking stock here, my vote is to um, go to the Pooh Lost Isles. So you are walking to this music store. Good day, sir. I'm, I'm here to pick up a few instruments. Shut your mouth, Sky Song. Jasper. You are much too dangerous to let continue to speak. Roll for initiative. It doesn't have to be this way. Why would you turn your back on us? This life is not for me. It's for you. Tell them you killed me. Tell them I'm gone. That you'll never hear from me again. But leave these people and leave us alone. After as long as we've known each other, everything we've been through together, the last thing I would do on this Earth is trust a poison word that comes from your lips. I'll report back to the foe that you're a traitor. Good luck, Sky Song. I hope you know that from this moment forward, you can never trust another person you lay eyes on, because any one of them could be foe. So we will uh, pick it back up after the thing that happened that most people here don't know about, but Devin knows about it. We only get to sit and watch in silent horror. Silent just unknowing. Uninterrupted minutes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, there's, a, there's a party tonight. So uh, I'm glad On to have this guy's song. I'm excited to see what uh, Devin's next character is going to be. Uh, very excited to be Devin's third character. Yeah. <laughs> Party. Take it away, party people. Okay, so we have organized our new pirate friends. I made sure Garrett got an invitation. We're down by the docks. Someone's mm-hmm. playing music. There's, I don't know, fairy lights floating around. Actual fairies. There's oh. fairies floating around. Actual fairies. It's down nice. The, the sun has set. There's a fiddle playing. <laughs> It does not sound like that. <laughs> when, uh, it's like a when sh- you work for me, and it does sound like it's like a, it's like no, it's like an Irish reel. It's like it's it does not sound. It's not a hoedown. This is a shindig. There's what a about diff- what about a cobo down? What? That I don't know. Even- wasn't even a kobold pun. We make 400 kobold puns an episode. It's always bold. One. It's always bold. A bold down? No, I'm saying the kobold pun is always, oh, bold. Yeah, oh, bold. They go that's, over there. That's fun given, like, the history of the name hoedown, where, like, you would throw down your hoe from working to go party. <laughs> <laughs> I've had enough kobold. of my kobold. <laughs> <laughs> I need to party. <laughs> hmm. I guess. Ah, fine. So that's the scene. I'm the DM now. <laughs> I have set the scene. Appreciate you. You're welcome. Uh, actually, the instrument's more like a like a, a, a cello. It's a bassoon. I'm just starting to do a sex like mode. Download 18 new fucking <laughs> instrument tools because <laughs> of the actually, actually it's it's a harmonica in a in, inside of a tuba. Actually it's a boo boo zuela. Oh god. No, it's no. just a didgeridoo. That's the one rule. <laughs> one rule. <laughs> it's one very loud music box. Yeah, I'm um with the assistance of the, the three other kobolds I mentioned they were gonna help. So they're just kinda, you know, tambourine. Um Salt shakers, yes. whatever they can find. Salt there's banging pots like, and pans. Yeah, there's just trash. Salt shakers with, like, with uh, pebbles in them. Yeah. Like so, some some bones, like different mass bones to make it. Like these are little tubes you had when you were in kindergarten to make the different noises, like different links, you know? Like, you know, you got the, uh, the, 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 uh, the washboard. It's like mm. that, but like with bones. The spoons. Like they have like. It's like a yeah. rib cage. Yeah, exactly. That's okay, perfect. Okay, okay. All right. I've got an intro into conversation. Um, Oslo, is that uh, traditional kobold music where you just play music on trash? Yeah, I mean, we kind of just use whatever we got. Uh, oh, I mean, there's like real instruments, but okay. Oh well, yeah, I hear, but where I come from, we just kind of got to make it. So that's the instruments. 
I'm, I, you know what? That's fair. I, I, I'm not sure what I was thinking, Oslo. <laughs> My bad. You want to dance? I mean, come on. Um, sure. Let's dance to trash music. <laughs> Me every time my wife has the aux cord. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Destroyed. Oh, Someone's oh, me today. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> that uh, threw my train of thought off real hard. What? Uh. Yeah, sure. Trash music. Oh, does also have the deck? That's what I'm waiting for, dog. Okay. No, I can't remember if I had it. Yeah, I sure do wish I had a card of some sort. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like this is like no. a, a drug deal now. Like, hey, no, you want I know, to I know what's going to happen. No, I know what's going to happen. I was like, yeah, you have to, like, make up. Uh, you have to kind of make stuff into instruments. So, like, look at this. And she pulls out the deck, you know, like, kind of, like, spreads it out a little bit and there starts, like, Scratching it. up and down the sides, yeah, <laughs> making it making noise. I <laughs> <laughs> with my magical deck of cards. <laughs> exactly. Let, I me, let me fucking bend them. Oh, the way you <laughs> strum that deck. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Last time you did that, it got turned into a daddy song. So just be prepared. That was not a sexual innuendo. It just absolutely that deck. was. It was this time, oh, though. So you know what? I'm not gonna talk about. It. Uh, uh, also, are, should you be using the cards for that? Aren't you gonna break them? No, these are like these are magical. Like, look at them. See, look, they're really pretty. Oh, hey, you want to take one? Uh, maybe. Aren't they magic? What do they do? I don't know. It's different every time. That seems wildly inappropriate and dangerous to just draw one. Well, nothing bad's happened yet. Yeah, that seems fair. I draw a card. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds wildly inappropriate and dangerous to just do that. Yeah, but like, what if you weren't a little bitch? <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> just peer pressure him, so like, everybody's fucking doing it. Yeah, but like... To be fair, she said nothing though. bad has happened. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, the deck magically levitates into the air and shines and unbends itself from where Oslo played it like a fucking... Yeah, really, a didgeridoo. And it shuffles itself magically and sets itself down before you, beckoning you to draw. Hot, I draw. What am I supposed to roll? D20? Uh, yeah, D20, please. Uh, uh, two. Oh, how nice. What if you got death and you lost Delmore again? Oh, <laughs> I just gosh. didn't have a character. This, this is... Good thing Garrett's at the party. <laughs> this oh yeah, I'm Garrett. I don't need to make another character. <laughs> this is kind of apt, um, okay. given the well, kind of like roller that. coaster that, that Delmore's been on. Um, you have drawn the Wheel of Fate. Oh, Ooh, I don't know what that does. It's a very, very good ability. You see, at any time, you can take a dice roll that you've rolled, and you can turn it into a natural 20. Oh, no, and then it gives you a natural one. And then it gives me a natural one. The Wheel of Fate turns and turns. So he can replace one of our dice rolls with the one? Is that what that's saying? Delmore's and only Delmore's dice rolls no. with natural 20. But then and that means then, you as the DM. That means me the DM can replace one of Delmore's dice rolls and only okay. Delmore's dice rolls with a natural one. one. Woof. Fun. That's to be used more than fun. once in a 24 hour period. Ooh, got it. Add in that now. We call that a spell. It's a lucky punk. It's a slaw. <laughs> spell like ability. It's just easier to put it in as a spell. And You're on. right, but I like to say slaw. It's weird. Uh, now, how how does that change you, Delmore? Let's think about it together. Um, 
If anything, it repairs the damage he's done. He's had done to him in this fucking prison, and reaffirms no. his like. Okay. No, not that. I wasn't talking about the physical. I just meant mentally, because like. No, you would no, no, believe that's, in fate. That's that's too tasty to give up. Uh, you just tell me when you're ready. So, no, you're ready. We're, we're, we're working on it together. We're not negating ideas. That's just a bad one that we're not going to use. Um, how about? I mean, I I think this is more like a metaphysical one. I think it's gonna gonna instinctively um, bring out any difference. But like you. I think in moments of, of great need or great want, you kind of see like a double after image of like events as they fold up before you. And you can kind of see like your desired end state. You see like you, the, the, the fate that you want to choose is kind of this, this spectral form kind of outside of, of reality. And if you manifest hard enough, you can make it be. So basically, I, I get the ability from the movie Neck, where I can see six seconds ahead if I use my Nat 20. I can make it real. I mean, you can just boil everything down to Nicolas Cage if you want to, but... <laughs> I mean, I feel like I could do that with a lot of references, so we're good. That's fair. Everything comes back to Nick Cage. Yep. Yeah. Nick Cage. Just coming up Cage. Yeah, you've, you've drawn your nice card. It evaporates into nothingness before you, into a fine mist, and you you, you like feel all my hopes and dreams. Yep, with your person. <laughs> Apparently, nothing happens. Um, it doesn't. It doesn't seem that magical, but I don't, I don't know. know. It's all shiny, so see, I told you nothing bad happens. What did it do for you? Ah, uh, I don't know. Cool, Oslo. Uh, so, are these really magical? Hey, I mean, you watched it like fly out of my hand and like spread around and then lay back down. And then when you picked it up, it all disappeared. So, I mean, if that's not magical, I don't know what the fuck is. That's all that that's all that it does is this is a self shuffling huh. deck of cards. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that's neat that it shuffles itself. Cool. Right. And they make all a great right. instrument. And then, and <laughs> then, then meanwhile, <laughs> Oslo and, and, uh, Delmore are dancing just Oslo on top of Delmore's feet. Oh. Hmm. You're so small. He was no pretty sure they're the same height. No, no, Oslo's like a bit shorter than him. Yeah. Fair enough. Oslo's tiny. Yeah. I think I roll up to the pirate shindig about an hour late. Hell yeah. Fashion and I go immediately at the bar and as you as you step to the bar you hear um a, a different different little tune start up it's a little more upbeat the slow dances have have all ceased um and everyone's kind of clapping their hands to this beat that we've got going on and i say gather around and hear this song if you know the words you can sing along and so all of a sudden like if a few more beats play i say hey everybody we're going on a trip to a place that's never seen our ship I'm sure it's gonna be great What's the worst that could happen? We've already hit rock bottom Would you say so, Captain? Hey, everybody We're going on a trip To a place that's never seen our ship I'm sure it's gonna be great What's the worst that could happen? We've already hit rock bottom Would you say so, Captain? Delicious <sighs> It is a hoedown you're wrong. Ginge, make make it happen. <laughs> Ginge, <laughs> I, I definitely thought you were gonna say you roll up and you hear the song. And we've got another one from there. <laughs> I was like, okay. Drastic tonal shift we've taken. <laughs> Gotta bring it back to you a little little bit. We're gonna be a little hopeful. Is is Sky Song singing that like on some kind of stage? Yes, uh, a wooden stage. He has jumped up on a hickory stump. And I'm I oh, said, and I'm telling you all what right now. Yeah. <laughs> Well, he had hickory stump brought in. <laughs> no, no, I don't like it there. Could you, could you move it over there? Yes, yeah, that's really bad. It's a bunch of roadies. The kobold. <laughs> the kobolds are roadies. They don't, have the strength to, they don't have the strength to move a hickory stump. I witnessed that. 
and I get a drink that isn't straight rum for once in my miserable life. From our bartender. How does how does the crowd react? I need I need to know. What, uh, what Peregrine, it's so good to see you. Is that Gareth? Yes, I'm just Dwayne McGruff. I thought it was Albert. <laughs> I'm Garrett now. This is everything I ever wanted. Glad to see you got the invitation. Oh yes, I'm very glad to be here. I had very important potion making business to do, but here's your rum and coke. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for cast drink. Fuck. He's a mixologist. I sure. just thought perhaps you needed a break. I'm just kidding. I'm very happy to be here. Thanks so much. I'll miss sailing with you. That makes one of us. Not that there's anything wrong with you. I just never cared for the sea, frankly. <laughs> you know, perhaps you were right. Thank you. Well, right about what? See. Oh yeah, it smells like salty ass. Part of me really wants to be offended by that. Good to see. You. Good to see you too, Captain. I excuse myself to go talk to my new pirate captain friends, and then. And they are they are standing around in the corner like very mean girls. They're like point out what everybody's wearing and dishing. It's really cool. Pirate mean girls. Good evening. Oh, hello! <laughs> <laughs> hello! It's me, Captain Spy! I'm standing right here. You don't have to shout. It's because of all the cannon blasts. Oh. I understand! How are you enjoying the party? I can't believe they let these people out dressed like that! <laughs> you don't want to talk? Your peg leg clashes with itself! It'll clash with your fucking chin, lass! <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. Thanks. <laughs> this is not going the way I intended it to or expected it to. I just thought perhaps our crews should get to know each other. But it seems this may have backfired and I may have just introduced more animosity to our little party. And for that, I apologize. But not really. No, everything is fine. Don't worry about it, says Captain Spine. It's fine, don't. He's gonna be okay. I know he will be. So, you look at the crews. They're having fun. They drink the grog. They dance. Those two kiss. Those and two. then it's gonna be okay. Oh, look, they do more than kiss. Oh, oh those two need to get any kid, any children need to leave. I don't... Uh, get a cabin! Gross. They proceed immediately to the captain's quarters among the boat. No! <laughs> that That's got all those shit in it! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> My glorious things! Also, it's very badly kept. That's gonna be real gross. Because <laughs> we talked, I think we had a whole discussion last session about uh, the, the bed being a nest, essentially. <laughs> My eight half eaten corks! I need those! Horrible. After this brief conversation with the other captains, I would like to excuse myself to just sit on a barrel and watch the pleasantries. I assume there is dancing happening. I There's just so this. much dancing, and they are stomping their feet to the music that your little barrel is kind of like pop, 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 bouncing along to the rhythmic stomp uh, as. Um, Sky Song just fucking actually roll performance. <laughs> yeah! Don't just give it to him. <laughs> Nothing's for free. You gotta earn it. 
Oh, that I mean, so it's hard to do bad. It's it's a twenty four. Uh, oh, so quite good enough. Um, it, it everybody seems seems a thirty for whom? For whom? Uh, the mass. No, I was fucking. You're destroying it. You're like a freaking rock star. You're like Powerline from a Goofy movie. You're oh, swinging around yeah. the rope you. and shit. What a reference. Yes. <laughs> hey man, that's what I'm here for. Got, I got my finger on the pulse of the zeitgeist. Mm-hmm. At at some point, Ozzo's gonna break away from dancing on. Garrett, uh, wow, not Garrett. Sorry. Although that would be adorable too. Also dancing on Garrett on top of Garrett's feet. That would be adorable. Uh, dancing on Delmore's feet. Break away. Run to Perry. Hey, hey. Oslo. Did you get your hat? Uh. Yes. Yes, of course I did. That's okay. right. The the hats that are going to determine who runs the ship from now. Very important hat. On three, we pull it out and we put it on, okay? Okay, and I like reach around the inside of my cool pirate coat I have now. Three. Three. Two. Two. One. And one. Oswald, please describe your hat. Um, hmm. I should have been thinking about this this week. You haven't stopped talking about it since we last played Dungeons and Dragons, so please describe your hat. Obviously. Um,. It's a black hat with little, like, um, probably, like, kind of well done, but still a little campy bedoules on it on the outside. Um, big feather, long, that's, like, kind of black tip, uh, very pretty. Um, I think it has, like, a red skull on the front. Not like a fork, but, like, you know, emblazoned on the front. Peregrine Turn, please describe your hat. Well, it's sort of a black hat that has kind of comical, a bit campy jewels on it, and it's got this big feather plume with a black tip, and I think it has a red skull on the front. Oh, no. But it's kobold-sized. <laughs> One of you's gonna have to change. <laughs> One of us is gonna have to change. Oh. Ah! Oh, did, seems... you go to, did you go to that guy, too? Yes, the haberdashery. It's me, the only haberdash on the menagerie. <laughs> the haberdash menagerie. menagerie. <laughs> I, I could see just as soon as I said that, like, how do I combine these words? Immediately. <laughs> haberdashery. Haberdashery. Yeah, <laughs> oh. Ha. So. So. Oh. It seems it must come down to a vote. What a shame. We're trying to avoid that whole and democracy one thing. One of the sailors goes, That's right. A vote. Who wore it best? Everyone lined up. <laughs> we'll be doing this with, with my magical power that was bestowed upon me by Lucitania herself. Oh. The applause meter <laughs> Six one arm in the air. As if to calibrate. This is when I'm very sad that this is an audio medium because Shane waving his arm around in the air is very funny. Ah, uh, so who thinks that the little lizard lady wore it the best? Ah. Uh, and no one is paying attention to what you're doing. Um, oh. Because this is a weird hat, con- hat measuring contest. Over Super in one weird. corner hat measuring contest. <laughs> with, one, with one drunk guy who thinks that he has the power to accurately gauge all of boss. And the fucked up thing is he's right. Not from Lusitania. A much darker source. David Jones? No. <laughs> darker than that. Oh. <sighs> Seems awfully uh, arbitrary. I, I don't know. Darker than that. <sighs> the proprietor. Darker than that. <laughs> Finnegan. <laughs> Darker than that. Darker than that. The egg lady. 
those two old guys that died in the very beginning. Oh, oh my gosh, gosh. Steve and Eddie. <laughs> Molestia yeah. from the fantasy enterprise. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Recurring oh, thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for coming. I appreciate your 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 dancing and your money you threw at me and drinks some of you threw at me. I changed songs for you, but thank you all, uh, and I hope that it was an enjoyable night. Uh, drinks are on, Captain, and I look back at them too, like ah, <laughs> fighting. Uh-huh. Drinks are on. Uh, me, the captain, Peregrine. <laughs> Drinks are on me. Drinks uh, are on, uh, on Captain Perry. I would like to take this opportunity to jump on top of a crate or something because I'm very little. Huh? There's a vacant hickory stump. There's a vacant hickory stump. I would like to <laughs> occupy the hickory stump. Perfect. Thank you for that rousing tune, Sky Song. Uh, hello, everybody. Might not know me. My name's Paragon Tone. Formerly captain of the Hoop. We're still trying to figure it out. Uh, I hope everyone's having a good time. Because things are about to get a lot worse than they've been. Uh, and things have been bad for a while. So, as my dear captain used to say, if you failed to beat them and you refused to join them, then by the gods, drink up a lot of rum, turn around, and run like hell. To the mainland. This was, this was sort of yeah, a yeah, different wait, direction wait, wait, I thought we might go with. <laughs> Yay. What she's saying is we have hope on the mainland. And so things have been going terrible, but we will persevere. Isn't that right, Captain? Yes, couldn't have said it better myself. Yeah, we like that one a lot better because it wasn't super depressing. (laughs) One more song. I I take that as an encore and then I play one more song. I excuse myself from the hickory stone because that didn't go as well. I do do grab uh, Captain by the elbow. One more time by Daft Punk. Yes, <laughs> Um, I I need to talk to you and Oslo, um, and Delmar as well. Very very soon. Uh, right now. Yes, I, I'm I'm going to turn things over to the the Echibolds. They can play. They can finish this thing out. Um, and we can talk for a moment. Oh, okay. Um, we can meet in. Uh, the captain's quarters. We have to figure that out. Perfect. Yes, just just go. Who who cares? Okay, you okay. can both drive the ship. You can co co captain. It's not quite how it works, but all right. As you turn the uh, fantasy microphone over to our three kobold heroes, <laughs> there's just unintelligible screaming for the next thirty. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Okay, and Jinch can cut this out if he wants. Uh, like this bit. I did uh, lyrics to Oslo's theme, and so you can stick that in there. Yeah, I don't. I'm not in charge. Do it. What? What I see, what I see is Oslo like seizes the moment. She's like, Sky Skull's not gonna get up there. It's my turn. <laughs> you, you, you like toss the mic, and like the cobalt's kind of like drop it, and it rolls. And Oslo just looks at it, <laughs> and then picks it up, <laughs> and a star is born. <laughs> <laughs> Top off your ale and prop up both your feet And I'll tell you the tale of kobolds Scaly and small, they search the land for gold In the seas, in the trees, in the sky And even monsters of over twenty times their size Couldn't stand to the slice of their blades And even creatures who fly so high up in the sky Tumble down underneath there Top off your ale and prop up both your feet, and I'll tell you the tale of kobolds. Scary and small, they search. Okay, and, I would then, like and then you guys go to yeah. the cabin. Gather yes. everyone, go to the the captain's cabin on the hope. It smells. <sighs> I can't say I like what you've done with the place, also. I 
And you gotta, let, you, got, you gotta let me finish. Smells like shame and sweat. <laughs> Bad life choices. Hot. <laughs> it does not smell as... Listen, I'll get this step quickly. There's not a lot to tell. Ah, oh, what a start, what a start, what a start. So, turns out, I was a double agent for for a long time. Um, a little bit for the resistance, and then a little bit, for, you know, for the other guys that we don't care for so much. You worked for the Alliance? Yeah, that's them. Um, you worked for the Alliance? Uh, I know I did at some point along the way. You know, we all make mistakes. Uh, I just did mm-hmm. it for... Oh, recently. Um, been at least a long time. How long have we been on the menagerie this time? Like a I'd day. say a long uh, time, you know. A few days. When, when, Delmo, when did we rescue you, Delmo? When, when was that? Not soon enough. Okay, it's actually back when we when we first got to... Um, is it Brombius? Brombius and we... One yes, of the shape we'll, islands, for sure. Yes, Rumbius. Um, and I was supposed to steal the plans from Heim's Mark. It was at that moment I realized the tables had turned, and, and now I was to now become part of the resistance. It's just the, the, the people that I used to work for, and I say used to because now they want to kill me, and they know that we're going. So now we have a third party, if we have, if you can count that, the, the alliance, and now these people that are now... <laughs> were my family and now our enemy the foe they can be anyone at any time at any place they are very much more dangerous than the alliance especially given that the alliance is mostly eradicated and you didn't think to tell us this until now um when your own skin that's a that's a bad double agent move is to give you other deeds but i'm coming you clean this really is me bad double agent move being a double agent it's not. It pays song. very well. It's very fun. Listen, I have done some bad things, but perhaps you have all done similar bad things. And, and nope. wished, wished not you... work with the alliance. No, I have actually uh, never lied to the people I've been traveling with about my allegiances. Lying, ever withholding. Were you a pirate once? Yes, and I told Ooh. you that. Did you, did you ever kill anyone? Yes. Cool, she cool, 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 cool. I'm telling you now. Because and listen. Why should we believe anything you te- you say? I guess you don't. I guess it's a good point. I'm, am I being a double agent now? I don't know. Now you're just confusing the whole thing. Um. Oh, uh, damn Have you ever heard of the foe or? Uh, I don't know if you have. If they've done the job well, uh, you haven't. I probably not, but if Shane will let me roll history. No, you wouldn't know anything about them. There you go. Uh, no, but to be fair, um, I've worked with the Alliance and I'm not all bad. It's it's like seeing the error of your way, you know, at the at the end of the tunnel. You, and you when you're in it, you just don't get it necessarily and the way of life that I accept I loved it I'm not going to lie um, but things have changed and, and I think that's true for everyone look look at the situation we're in now and I'm telling you I'm on your side but you need to be, know that the foe is out there so basically you got us all in danger no you, you've you done pretty well yourself it seems uh, I think maybe I've just added to that already Look, we already had the Alliance and Davy Jones. And now we got these guys that could be any fucking thing, any fucking where. Like a fucking chair over there could just pop out and start attacking me, right? Oh, oh, no, it, it, has, <laughs> it has to be humanoid. That's not how oh, changelings no, the fo- work. The foe, um, the foe historically employed, employed mimics. They have trained mimics. Trained mimics. No. It, it could be any inanimate object that you ever sit on, including turtles. Turtles. Anyways, um, I thought so they're never gonna poop the same. <laughs> how do we know you're telling the truth now? Uh, 
much. Do any of you have a magical spell that would... I, I will not fight it, and I will... I mean, I got a gun. <laughs> I cast <laughs> gun! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that... that Hold that it up will... to you, and like, hey, are you telling the truth? I'm, I'm, <laughs> if, I, why would I say no now? <laughs> If you haven't heard about Anchor, it is the easiest way to make a podcast. Let me explain. Lawful Stupid just jumped over. First of all, it's free, and we love that. Secondly, there's creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer, wherever you're at, on the go. Anchor will also distribute your podcast for you. There are a lot of other vendors out there, a lot of platforms that they will make sure your podcast gets to. So it can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many more. And you can make money from your podcast with zero, I say again, with zero minimum listenership. It's everything you need to make a podcast all in one place. So download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. The door crashes open and in walks everyone's favorite dad, Adelbert. Oh. (laughs) <laughs> that <hurt. laughs> I thought it was gonna be Barney. I thought it was Barney. Okay. I'm okay with Dadabart. No, we know where you're going to lie. You can believe him. You could knock. I did. But it. <laughs> I knocked like four times. Nobody answered. We were attack busy. Right. I also mm-hmm. knocked pretty quiet. They okay. Uh, what do you know about all of this? I take fiercely spies as much, if not more, than the next one. Oh. Wait. Go on. How do I know you're not one when, of these guys? When we first came to Rhombius, what was the item I refused to part with? You refused to part with some metal dog, a hound, that we needed to secure for the good of all mankind. Okay. But if I were the foe, I would know that. Get fucked. Um. <laughs> <laughs> right? Like, we can't trust anything at this point. They do their homework. It's not going to be that easy to... to... Oh, we, we probably will not some not, Trust me. How? How? How can we trust you? This I just learned that the man I've been sailing with for be half a, a year a is a double voyage. agent. It's going to be a long voyage if you doubt everything that comes your way. I mean, you probably should doubt everything that comes your way, but, you know, roll with the punches kind of thing. Um, to be fair, I was one of the vested. Didn't yeah, tell you guys that up front. Yeah, he was a piece of shit. <laughs> no, yeah, confirmed. You told us eventually, and, like, the whole time you were with us, it's not like you were like, oh, by the way, I'm vested, and I still work with them. The whole time I've been with you. Well, to be fair, I, it sounds like he didn't do that either. No, we're just now learning that he was still in cahoots. He told me a while ago. There you go. He had a mission to to steal plans from Heinz Mark and to deliver them to the Alliance. And he came to me hat in hand and he said, give me fake schematics and I'll pass them on. I'll, I'll work for you. And I said, well... You're still a piece of shit. I'll kill you. You fuck with me. So we're probably safe. (laughs) Yes, we are. We are. We are safe. And he did that thing, and that was pretty good. You'll forgive me if I'm still a bit ill at ease. Yeah, no, totally good. That's fine. Um, You'll just have to, I guess, what what is it, like over time, like build trust again and. All those things, but that's on you, Captain. I, I've said my bit. I'm gonna head back to get a couple drinks. Um, it's been a good talk. Um, if you guys want to talk more, I'll be around. I will never trust a single thing you say again. Probably for the better. It sounds like this. This. This could be very fun. <laughs> Choose your words wisely. <laughs> It, 
seems like the vetting process for our little group hasn't improved any. Things have happened to Delmore. Well, I, hey, to be fair, I didn't say they were good to begin with. I just said they haven't improved. Kind of just keep so. getting stuck with people. Yeah, that sounds right. <sighs> Gonna be okay, Captain. Maybe I should have just kept sailing with the other pirates. It's so much easier if you're not trying to launch a world-saving mission and you're just going around stealing things that don't belong to you. Yeah, that's much easier. I step back in at that time and go, Oh, but I'm the bad guy, huh? See, suddenly, things are different. Sorry, I just heard you as I was leaving. I am actually leaving now. But... Go play a fiddle or something. Hmm. Uh... <sighs> Seems like there's a lot to unpack here. Mm, I agree. Um, I'm still here for some reason. <laughs> sorry, I don't. I don't think I know who you are. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> you're right. No, you wouldn't. <laughs> Wait, no, no, I'm um, out of work. He was at the meeting when we went back to like talk to the proprietor, but you wouldn't like know. No, yeah, him. I wouldn't know him. Um, you're just there. Busting out us like a dad. So, you don't even know that the proprietor is a dragon. Uh, you're right, I don't. Um, are you important? Yeah. yeah. Should we trust your opinion? Yeah. Unless he's one of those faux assholes. I mean, yeah, that seems. To, to you could say, I'm uh, saying about you. I mean, it's pretty fucking obstinate, but whatever. Yeah, okay, let's just boil this down to logic. Uh, Perry. Do you hmm. trust uh, Mr. Adelbert? Yes. Okay. Uh, Oslo, do you trust Mr. Adelbert? I trust the real Mr. Adelbert. <laughs> okay. Got it. Um, perfect. That's, that's, that'll do. That's you should know about. <laughs> um, uh, uh, How many Adelberts Mr. are Adelbert, there? Um, do, and you trust... Uh, Sky song, yeah. He's working on it. Okay, uh, break it down to the logic somewhere, but um, yeah. So you trust him. He kind of trusts him. So you should kind of trust Sky song. I don't call the trying to do a property. Yes. I, I. That just means we can't kick him off the ship. To be fair, I have never truly trusted Sky Song. Nope. Okay, so it doesn't sound like this is going any type of direction other than par for the course. I just... He worked for the Alliance. Yeah, so did I. I don't know. <sighs> yes, but... And then the door gets kicked in. You could not. There, standing there <laughs> is everybody's favorite dad. Barnabas. Barney. Yay! <laughs> oh, Dad. You could you know. know. Oh, hi, Barnabas. <laughs> you know, I worked for the Alliance. Okay, you know what? Good point. I don't trust Sky Song. Just kidding. Hi. Nice to meet you, Barney. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, well, did we know that? Yes. Yeah, it we did. Barry did. Well, I thought we all knew that because of his uh, reputation. He was, a, he was a privateer working for the Alliance. That's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 there's, yeah. Uh, there's a difference between working outright for someone and then quitting and then continuing to work for someone who you know your crew members hate and potentially selling secrets. To, I, I'm angry that I didn't realize. Yeah, that makes sense. More than anything else. Yeah. As sketchy as he's been this entire time. I just am so confused as to what we do next. Well, uh, I, I've been thinking about, not about what to do next, but I'm still talking about the Sky Song thing. Um, he was the one who told us to leave Rambius. Yeah. He must have had some sort of insider knowledge that what happened was going to happen and 
And that seems important. If he were really just... If he were just some spy bastard, he would have saved himself and let us all die. But instead, he... He got us out of there. Elmore, Rambias got exploded. Oh. Shit. Yeah, it was was pretty gnar-gnar. It's not great. God, that sounds awful. You're not really making it easier for me to be mad at him. Well, you know what they say, being angry at somebody is like drinking poison and hoping they die. They're holding a... Just tears you up inside. Hot and cold, yeah. Thanks, Dad. You're welcome. Now me and Adelbert are going to go play shuffleboard. <laughs> <Anime! laughs> hmm. Ha, ah, take that. I'm very good at shuffleboard. No, take that. I'm very good at shuffleboard. Okay, well, um I don't necessarily have a problem uh with his actions. Um knowing what I know now, it might have made more sense to stay on the inside longer than I did. I'm you mean gonna... prison? What? Um, now I mean with the hounds. Oh. It's easier to tear something down from the inside than to climb the wall. Which is why I... That's part of the reason why I wanted to let Belgian in. Because we could find out all kinds of stuff if she was with us. And if we're learning, if we're working with the Alliance, we can learn what how they work on the inside and use that to our advantage. Skysong fucked that up, too. Well, I mean, to be fair, I agree with you, but then I have emotional attachments to that one, and I say, hell no, she's a bitch, That's but... True. You know, we're all, uh... mortal. I don't know. I wanted to ask Adabert something. She just stomps out of the room. I'm gonna go work on Ryder some more. I'm going to just go back to watching people dance. <laughs> but also, she could talk to Adelbert. <laughs> wow, Adelbert, you're really good at shuffleboard. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm really good at shuffleboard. Yeah, look at my. You learned a few things after millennia. No, that was almost recognizable as the word shuffleboard. Um, Adelbert! <laughs> yes, sir. Mr. Mr. General Edward Sir. Yes. I wanted to know if you knew anything about a guy. Is a guy named Dreyfus? I think the Ram said he was the warden at the prison. Oh, uh, yes. Yes, I do recall him now, yeah. He sounded... He sounded like he may have been part of something that was really bad. For me, specifically. I just want to know if you knew anything about him. More like most of Lion's top brass, he made his place in this world through wanton cruelty, so... If something terrible happened to you in the past, and it happened at the hands of an Alliance officer, well... Um, Chance it was he. Hmm. Okay, I didn't I don't know have if his you like records in front of me. Do we still have those records? Oh, I don't have them, but I can get them. I want to look at those before we go somewhere. I mean, I can't get them immediately, but I, oh, I no, can... but after the party, maybe tomorrow might, when we're might not drunk. take a little bit longer. Than, I think I don't have the records, but I have members of my agency who would be able to get um, access to them and steal uh, them. Okay, so I was thinking, I was thinking when we now went into that room. Not like they're not like I a filing like, cabinet in my office. Like, I, I was thinking on like, the, like the Google thing where I just like type, you know, poked at the things until it like spelled out a name and then just like look it up. But no, okay, I got you. No, that, that magic was forbidden after the Great Council of Tinzig in 1412. 
And then it got blown up on Rombius. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I want to know about that. Okay. I'm gonna go dance. Have fun. Kick yeah. your ass, Barnabas. <laughs> Kick his ass, Barney! I'm gonna Just shuffle the, the. I'm gonna shuffle the fuck out of this board. Put <laughs> a, a shuffleboard on the deck of the hope. <laughs> There already is one. higher deck. Yeah. You blinked and it's there. There's like cornhole to one side. There's a shelf. Cornhole on the sea is a recipe for disaster. Well, <laughs> only true cornhole masters can play on the waves. Uh, when I listen, I was nationally ranked in the National Cornhole League, one thousand one hundred and thirteen. Doesn't sound that high, but it's pretty good. <laughs> And I'm more of a defensive player, and the way that they have you rank is super weird. You just throw 100 bags from one side of the board without ever moving, and they just count which ones you get in the hole. Like I said, I'm more of a defensive player. I like to lay down traps, but that's fine. Okay, okay. Anyway, this is a, a cornhole, my new cornhole podcast. <laughs> oh, my God. I, I, bags and boards. Ba- bags and boards. We talk about comic books and cornhole. Pretty funny. Perry's just making the rounds. None of you are invited. Okay, cool. Uh, Perry's just making the rounds through everyone at the party, checking in, talking, joking, drinking, trying to raise morale. You 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 do that, but you're just general kind of a bummer vibe. Um, (sighs) Works against you and uh, not really pepped. Why do I have such a bummer vibe this time? I don't know. You tell me. It happens when you wake up five minutes before you record. The thing is that Perry didn't. I know, I, I did just bad at acting. Perry deserves to have a happy crew. I deserve to have a happy crew. <laughs> you just start walking around, you be happy, you be happy, you be, be happy. happy. <laughs> look, uh, look under your boots, what's that? Happiness. You get a happiness. You get a happiness. <laughs> Everybody gets a happiness. Why isn't anyone having fun? I specifically ordered it. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll just say she's bummed out about the whole Sky Song thing. She's trying to forget it, but it's just not working. It's just not working. But I don't dance. I just talk to people. And then sit and watch. You can dance so, if you want to. You can leave your friends behind. Mm-hmm. If they don't dance. Yeah, if they don't dance. So it's 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 really important to me personally that we talk about a little scene. It's it's the morning after the party. Everybody's picking up solo cups. You know how how you do, um, and you get everybody together. Let's have a little conversation about what you're doing next. Let me decide what we're doing next. Did you? Yeah, we we're going to go to the Colossal Isles. Okay. Are we all going to the pl- 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 Yeah. Are we all <laughs> going to the Mufasa Isles? <laughs> <laughs> are we all going there? Or are we taking our entire regiment of ships, or is it just the hope? Do we- oh, just the hope. We don't need to send the whole thing. We're just supposed to talk to him. We're not supposed to fight him. We're certainly not supposed to attack the island. I mean, <laughs> fighting could, could happen, for sure, but... Yeah. Yeah, I don't think we need to bring a fleet. That sends the wrong message. We're here for peace. <laughs> See our fleet of ships. Raise the white flag of war. We have a, a crew now, don't we? Yeah. That aren't all just yeah. ghosts. Yeah. See, there's yeah. Oh, dumb, I can do that now. Oslo's a great way. captain. What? I can do the ghost thing now. Wow. Did anyone tell you where that was uh, going? Nope. Just catching up. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I mean, we've been on the oh, ship with uh, you for like a week. Also, also, Hap and Tap are super dead. Also, Hap and Tap are super dead. Oh, man, I really liked Hap. Not Tap? Eh. He didn't really shoot cannons at people. Yeah, he did. Tap shot cannons. Tap shot oh. cannons. Hap was the cool. I forgot who... Listen, I was in prison you a really while. You guys him. took forever. You were, yeah, you liked him a lot. Very attached to them. 
I, I liked the cannon guy for sure. That was tap. Yeah, big fan. So um, yeah, no, I don't think we left. need to. Well, I mean, who's captain? Not right. me. I have a whole oh, list, actually. Then yes. <sighs> okay, well, there you go. Um, Pubasa Isles it is. Healthy. <laughs> yeah, sounds like an important thing for you to talk through with your therapist. Isn't your friend Finnegan uh, from from these Pubasa Isles? Oh, yes. Hey, welcome back. <laughs> oh, wait, this is Solo Cup area. It's the morning after, and I oh, found this bad. odd, yeah. this one purple Solo Cup. There's no other purple ones, just this one. I don't know why. Yeah. Who wants their own Solo Cup? Hold on, hold on to that. Mark that on your inventory. <laughs> Has one. It will come in handy when you most need it. <laughs> when you drink from this, <laughs> you gain plus two charisma. You drink from it, you get slizzard. Forever. <laughs> I drink from it. Turn into you a slizzard, whatever that you, means. You turn into a storm lizard. <laughs> oh, you get <laughs> lizard. I heard, okay. Slizzard, <laughs> um, storm lizard. That's what it is. Uh, yes, our, our friend Ben um, was from the Ubas Isles. That's correct. Lost. I feel like. <laughs> You could, you probably have some pool since you, I mean, I don't know if you tell them, or perhaps you tell them the story about Finnegan and wanting to help. I, perhaps that I will know. persuade them to want to help us. I think we should tell them the story. I don't know that we should tell him he's soup. I, well, I don't know if I also yeah. would use that word. I agree, but you say that he's not what he once was. And I mean, they are strong, magical people. Yes. I think we tell them the whole truth. That's what he said. I think we spin it so that he's a martyr. Uh huh. He's not dead. No, but sure. he's kind of beyond recognition. Yes, but you, uh, you're not hearing me. The magic. If they have strong enough magic, why not tell them what's up so that they can, if they can help, they can help. If not, yes, he's, he's a lost cause and it's very sad. Oh. No, I, I don't think we should tell them he's dead. I think so you, we should tell them the whole truth. We, we're agreeing, agree. we're just yes. saying different words. For once. Look, already, already. Oh, I forgot I was mad at you. <laughs> Sorry to throw for once at the end of the sentence. <laughs> okay. Um, cool, 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 cool. Hey, Perry. Oslo. So, um, I think that while you're on the boat, on this boat, you should be captain. I but, think you're right. But okay. if you go over to the pirates, if you go like hang out with them, and we're all sailing at the same time, then you're on that boat, so you're their captain, so then I'm captain here. Like an understudy. Yeah. That makes you the first mate, right? I don't know. Does it? Traditionally, yes, but... I mean, you're quartermaster, but we have a fully crewed ship now. So, Oslo, would you like to be my first mate? But does that mean I still get to keep the ship fund? In the notebook? If you would like to. Can I still be the accountant? (laughs) Yes, you can still be the accountant. I don't want to do it. (laughs) Then yes! Real quick, uh, hey, also, what is your charisma modifier? Yeah, no, it's it, it not mechanically, great. Mechanically, first mate, Zero. a very bad position Zero. for Oslo. It's not, uh, it's not negative. It's not who's negative. in charge of the chip sheet? Go ahead, just minus one from ship morale. Except for the three goblets. They're, they're, you haven't seen them since last night. Oh. I'm aware Captain, what, what would you have me do then, Captain? What do you mean? He was the well, first I mate. Was first you mate. were the first mate. Yes. What? So, but I get we're in turmoil here. You'll you'll come back around eventually. But she's, Since she's when? Cleaning house, you know? Since when were you the first mate? Since you left the ship and he had the highest charisma modifier. That's no, cool. It's cool. You can now. Uh, she, she can do it for a while. I'll just maybe I can. I'll, I'll learn. Taru can teach me to cook. We need a quartermaster now. Good job, Captain. I'm sorry! Chill first day. I mean, I could just 
do the do the notebook and the accountant and stuff. I can just do that. And I have any other officer role on the ship. And then I need a floor master and a person. Forget everything I said. <laughs> oh no 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 no! I already did it. In. We'll wait. My brain is not working. Let's just keep Oslo as a quartermaster then. So so how this actually turns out, like, oh yes, you can be the first <laughs> mate. <laughs> it's like nudge, winking nudge. at Sky Song. Ah. Oh I'm yes, you make a great first mate, Oslo. Agreed. Very good first mate story. <laughs> Devin says the word wink out loud. <laughs> She'll be a great first mate. We we. Also has no idea. <laughs> Does not notice. <laughs> Nodding, licking her eyeball. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know the one thing that kobolds do. That's all I care about. So then I'm like, uh, uh, so if I ever leave the ship again, yes, Oslo, you can be captain. But I turn to Barnabas. I am never leaving the ship again. <laughs> <laughs> Promise. That's a weird way to get loyalty. Your loyalty. <laughs> the other option is, is she's going to run the ship. I'll never leave. Hey, we were okay. Hmm. It's not being we're entirely fair. Also did a very good job of running hey. it while I was... Yeah. You already for some, some deep cut political humor? Yeah. Uh-oh. Oh, uh, Does anybody hear the song? There's Oz- another fucking Oslo, airship Oslo. to move the plot along. Oslo is Mike Pence. <laughs> Just the just the threat of her being the second in command. <laughs> oh my! <laughs> that makes Perry Trump. <laughs> I need to go wash myself. Right? <laughs> wow, I really hate it. Oh, uh, make sure everybody so goes hilarious. out. What? said, hey, make sure everybody goes out and votes. Yeah, I'm taking this opportunity to encourage our listenership to be political. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Everybody's yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not voting this year. But voting between a douche and a turd sandwich. Mm. Can't, you can't vote independent. The entire system's fucked up. The only solution left is armed revolt. Um, so that's where we're going to end this episode. Okay. Before I, get, before I get in on any watch lists, um, take it away. Hey, if you want to support the show, uh, you can go to store.lawfulpeople.org and get you a shirt. You can get a sticker. You can get a canvas with the original boys uh, on it, the, the OG. Um, every purchase you do helps us just a little bit. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And that's all we need. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Hey, and by the way, speaking of buying stuff in the store and also what Ray's going to talk about in a second did you know that you can sign up to be an annual patron that's the thing that exists now patron says you can sub for a whole year if you do that two things happen one 10% off 10% off of your total patreon payment you just get you just get it it's just for you to have number two if you subscribe for an annual subscription at the $20 or higher tier you get 10% off the store all year we send you a little coupon code specific to you you get 10 percent off any purchase you make in the store for the whole year that you angel sub that's a pretty good deal dang it's a pretty good deal it's nice good deal. i feel like i've had the rug pulled out from under me a little bit because i was just about to talk about that and i was so excited because i did research ahead of time about what all that meant uh, now- i'm sorry i was i was the way that I had to like learn about the program and implement it and encourage it and, and spread it to the people and actually do all the legwork in regarding that, I wasn't <laughs> sure that somebody else was going to talk about it, so I figured I'd, I'd make sure it got addressed. So anyway, Mage Band. <laughs> it's a bad <laughs> Oh my god, yes! So anyway, Mage Band. Is it like a band, like a ring, or is it like a bunch of wizards? No, like, no, it's it. like a bunch of wizards that play music. What kind of music do they play? Uh, ooh, is it 12 of them? Does the, does the ship fly mm. when they play? <laughs> <laughs> Making they it play jazz, out. I don't know why. Hmm. It's jazz hands. Jazz flaming hands. Jazz hands. mage hands. Hey. Uh, 
burning. Anyway, burning. head on over to www.patreon.com forward slash awful stupid podcast to support further humor like this. You can either be a monthly uh, patron or a an annual patron, depending on what you can do and how you feel like supporting us. And there's lots and lots of different rewards you get. Uh, merchandise that you don't have to purchase. You don't have to merchandise it. <laughs> Appearing as a guest on the show, putting NPCs in the world, putting magical items in the world. It's all very cool. Head on over and do that. Thank you. We love you. Go and give us your money. We hear it all. <laughs> hey, everybody. Uh, this episode, we are going to parole for humanity. Uh, we are going to be supporting the Trevor Project once again. Next week should be the last week of uh, that particular charity. So I'm going to roll now. A mm. Digital dice because I didn't bring my physical dice. That's an eight. Eight dollars going to the Trooper Project. If you want to give, you can follow the link that will be in the show notes for this episode. Uh, and if you want to check out wh- who we've been giving to in the past, you can check that out on the website for the Roll for Humanity section. Woo! And yeah. as always, you can also join us on our Discord, talk about the show, hang out with other fans, other players of D&D, uh, and just talk about your day, talk about that cool thing that happened in your home D&D game, talk about that cool thing that happened in the show, show us your cool art, show us your cool fan art, uh, and just uh, show us the uh, memes and the dog pictures and the, uh, the baby pictures that make you smile over and smile today. Come and join our Discord. We'll be waiting for you. We'll be waiting for you. Hey, everybody. Uh, love you so much. Let me talk to you real quick about uh, leaving a rating and review on iTunes. If you leave a rating and review on iTunes, it helps us out a lot. Thank you. Please do it. And hey, let me talk to you. Hey, everybody. Uh, let me talk to you real quick about uh, tweeting about the shows in the hashtag Supercast. If you tweet about the shows in the hashtag Supercast, I'll send you ratings right in the episode. And it's all very good. And the next one, hey, it's going to be sexy. Mm. Mm. So you know whoever does it next, gonna be sexy. You gonna get the dirty, like that okay. Fever song? You know that song? You gonna give me Fever. It's gonna be like that. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, I was thinking who's who's the strongest daddy song? Oh, it's even sexier than that. Oh, <laughs> somehow, yeah. somehow, that's gonna be one of two ways. Possible. Either people are clamoring. It to usually be does. Or no one wants to be there. <laughs> Everyone's like, oh. It's definitely the second one. Also, this happens years in the future, so who cares? Um, <laughs> let, me, let me leave you with a question to go on. The question I'm going to ask you this week What is Satan's last name? <laughs> what is the devil's last name? That's a good one. <laughs> we love you. Love you. Love you. Bye. 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 Bye.